Yo guys, we have another top five for you today, and boy, this is gonna be a good one. The top five habits that will kill your hair fast, though some faster than others. Stay tuned to find out what they are. Hey guys, Leon here from hairguard.com, where people who are worried about their hair loss go to regrow their hair. On this channel, we do tons of science-backed videos on how you can combat hair loss and regrow healthy hair. Now, if you do want updating on any of the latest hair loss news, make sure to hit subscribe and hit that notifications button. Also guys, if you are worried about your hair loss, then don't forget to click the link in the description below so you can access the Hair Guard Hair Loss Quiz. It only takes a few minutes to complete and then you will receive free, personalized expert advice from hair growth experts. And now guys, let's get into it. The top five habits that will kill your hair fast. So guys, number one is dyeing your hair. Okay guys, flash hair anatomy lesson. Each hair on your scalp is protected by an outer layer of cells called cuticles. These are arranged like scales in an overlapping manner that is meant to protect the two inner layers of the hair shaft. The hair pigment lies beneath the cuticles, so in order for the pigment in the dye to penetrate into the hair shaft and do its job, it will typically contain ammonia. Now the function of the ammonia is to raise the cuticles, and guys, the cuticles are not meant to be raised. This is not nature's way. Once the cuticles have been raised, the peroxide in the dye can then reach inside of the hair shaft and destroy the natural pigment in your hair to make room for the artificial pigment in the dye. Now, all these steps in the dyeing process damage the hairs, altering their texture, removing their natural shine and leaving them dry and brittle. Now guys, the more that you dye your hair, and especially if you use harsh, permanent dyes, the more that you're damaging it. So guys, number two is tight hairstyles like braids, dreadlocks, pigtails, etc. Now hair follicles are tough little guys and they can put up with a lot of abuse, but like everything else in our body, they have their limits. In a condition known as traction alopecia, hair starts to fall out due to chronic pressure from extremely tight hairstyles. And guys, I'm talking hairstyles like braids, cornrows, dreadlocks, and ponytails. These apply chronic pressure on the follicles and eventually the follicles just give in. This can become so bad that it can leave large bold patches on your scalp. Artificial hair like weaves and extensions can also lead to traction alopecia, as can the extensive use of curlers. Now, unlike hair dyeing, this is not the kind of damage that happens overnight. We're talking months or even years of your follicles being subjected to systematic mechanical pressure, and eventually it will happen. And guys, this is not some rare freak condition that you will only find in medical textbooks. In certain African countries, where tight hairstyles are very prevalent, as much as one third of adult women actually suffer from some degree of traction alopecia. Guys, number three is excessive shampooing. All things in moderation, as the ancient Greeks used to say, and this also applies to shampooing your hair. Now, we all love that shiny, healthy look that our hair has after we've just shampooed not to mention the lovely smell. But if you're shampooing all the time and still can't get the results that you want, chances are that it's precisely the shampooing itself that's causing the problem. And by all the time, I literally mean two, three, or more times a day. Now, shampooing excessi excessively will remove the moisture from your hair and it will end up dry and brittle. You will probably also find that you have real difficulty styling it, so don't overdo it with the shampoo, guys. Guys, number four is steroids. Now, most of you watching this channel will probably know that the immediate cause of male pattern baldness is a hormone called DHT, short for dihydrotestosterone. DHT is a metabolite of testosterone. In other words, it's produced in the human body from testosterone. So it should come as no surprise that when you artificially raise your levels of testosterone with anabolic steroids, some of this excess testosterone will be converted to DHT. This excess DHT will, in turn, ravage your hairline especially if you have a genetic predisposition to male pattern baldness. And guys, I'm afraid that the loss of hair on your scalp won't be offset by the loss of unwanted hair on other parts of your body, for example, your torso. For reasons that scientists don't yet understand, DHT attacks the hair follicles on the scalp, but has the exact opposite effect on hair follicles elsewhere on the body. Now, it actually stimulates these to produce more hair. So if you use steroids, there's a good chance that you will both lose hair on your scalp and grow unwanted hair somewhere else on your body. Sorry guys. <laughs> guys, number five is smoking. Yes, you heard that right, good old tobacco. Now smoking is a well-established risk factor for a variety of skin conditions, 
including premature aging and wrinkling, psoriasis and skin cancer. But guys, did you know that recent studies suggest that it could also be linked to premature hair graying and even male pattern baldness? For example, a recent study in Jordan found that smokers were overrepresented in a sample of people who started graying prematurely before the age of 30. The researchers concluded that smokers in, the, in their study were two and a half more times more prone to develop premature grays compared to non-smokers. In a similar vein, an observational study in Taiwan recently found that smoking was linked to an increased risk of developing advanced male pattern baldness after the age of 40. Guys, we've linked to those studies and some other related ones in the description below. Now, it is early days in this line of research, so these links between smoking and damage to the hair are far from confirmed and future research could just as easily prove or disprove them. Either way, guys, we wanted to include smoking in today's top five and give you a heads up, especially if you are concerned about your hair and are determined to take no chances with it. So guys, that's all I have for you today. Hope you enjoyed the video and most importantly, I hope you found it useful. We want to hear your opinion in the comments below. Have you ever developed one of the habits that we've covered here today? Did you have another habit that seriously damaged your hair? If so, we'd love to hear about it. Till next time, this has been Leon from HairGuard.com. Goodbye.